Alright, welcome back everybody, my name is Altamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Divinity Original Sin. Where we left off last time, we were getting just crushed by this orcish army. I'm gonna try something. I know orcs are pretty well immune to fire. That doesn't mean you can't create a giant firewall and then make it into a giant line of sight wall when we put rain down. Right? I am a genius. Let's see if this works though. There's always the chance that this will fail spectacularly. And nothing good will come of it. So we're gonna keep putting oil down and save. We'll save every couple of oils because they do vanish after time. I don't wanna get annoyed at it. So we want the oil to be in range of the orcs for the fireball. So that should be about right. So we'll the last oil down. And we're going to cross elemental really quickly. They're just good to have. And we're gonna make this into a death trap, hopefully. isn't a line of sight zone yet. You might want to notice that. But it will be very soon. We'll see. Sir, attack. Are attacking. That stopped her from doing her stupid charm, which is nice. This guy's already on fire, but that's not what we're really looking for. Does this actually block line of sight? It does. Nice. That fire is going to be really good for us at the moment. So save. And we're going to continue spreading oil. And I'm going to move them back a little. I'm going to save his action points. That's a good to see me, but that's okay. We'll deal with that in a minute. Maybe you can see me through this like, line of smoke here, I guess. We can keep them in the fire, that'd be awesome. I know they don't generally take a lot of burning damage because orcs are resistant to fire, but... I wish I had had... Whoa. What? What are you doing? Ow. That was the most bizarre teleportation ever. Okay. We're okay. Still. We are going to do our own ricochet, I think, because we have enough people in this confined area. We're a good solid ricochet and a barrage. So we're going to barrage like that. Or, we can barrage anybody else. Back. Rangers are super annoying and I want them to die. How are they shooting me through this? Oh, I can kind of shoot through there, I guess. But there's nothing in line of sight there. So. No. No, no. So the only ones I can shoot are these guys. Oh, that guy got frozen. Nice. It's actually working out really well. So far. I don't want to say anything because it can change really rapidly and go horribly wrong. I'm actually going to save the rest of her points for when the rest of these enemies come up. And the reason for that is I'm going to start healing people. We're going to use our whirlwind attack with our warrior. That should take out, take out just about everybody. Or I guess I could AoE with this guy too and just a lightning jump. But that could go really wrong. It depends where we end up after our lightning jump ends. So let's put a holder bash somewhere. Can't shoot it over there, could do that, but that's pointless. Can't do anything over here. Just poison arrows, but these guys are almost all dead, and I don't think we can hit anybody further. So let's just put resistance actually on our character. Give him a little bit of fortification. And that'll be it. What is 
he do? Oh, he slowed my time? I don't know. I should kill everybody. There we go, that's three dead orcs. <coughs> Excuse me. There's another couple coming, as we knew. As is tradition. So we have a shaman or a ranger to shoot at. Let's shoot at the shaman. We probably have less life. And more likely to get a case of the dead. Let's get haste. Turns too far away. I might go invisible for this though, because I don't want to draw a whole lot of fire on my way there. I'm gonna be running through fire though, so that's not really good either. Do I have any attack moves? No. I'm gonna move around behind him though. Burn. Oh crap, she's there. I forgot all about her. That's okay. We need to heal now. Oh, she's. Ch Okay, we're gonna give her a minor heal just to keep her alive. And we'll spread some fire onto the orcs. Or at least one orc, I guess. Wow, wow that was pretty good. What was that? Oh. We can shoot that guy again. That orc shaman is nearly dead. What are you gonna do? At least you didn't do anything. Alright, let's take a look at our spells. What do we got here? We have a chain lightning, we have a boulder bash. We hit. Did that thing die? I guess he died. Okay then. Excellent. If I boulder bash you, that won't help us too much. Uh, it will and it won't. Hang on. Let's see. Let's grab this poison dart instead. I can't shoot him, but I can shoot him. Might be worthwhile. Poison failed. That is so unfortunate. You had a lot of turns, Archer, dude. I think it's time for somebody else to get a turn now. Why doesn't my main character get to move? Oh, he's stunned. Oh, I see. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. It's like, why is he not doing anything? He hasn't done anything the last couple rounds. The fact that he's stunned makes a whole lot more sense now. Some rain down. Let's get rid of the fire. Just some smoke. Some heavy smoke in the air. Which of course freed him up to come in apparently. Which I'm actually okay with because now he's in range of all my people. Another shot. 64%. Guess we'll have to do. No, that's a mess. Are you done yet? Why are you not done being charmed yet? Oh, don't. She doesn't have a ton of action points. Ooh, that's close. I think we're gonna big heal on our character. Because he's nearly dead. He's gotten beaten up by a whole bunch of people. And he's a little bit tired of being beaten up now. He's he's sore. He's had enough. Um, charge. That one probably. Where is the other? Oh, she's up there. I see. She's just teleporting back and forth. Which is a very cool ability. It makes it super annoying to fight her. Though. Is not dead on shoot it to death. I definitely want it to die. 
And then we're gonna take on their stupid Nightbringer prison. I think double attack is better than like a coup de gras type attack. But that's what gets her dollars out. Can I teleport her? She's a bit too far away. So if I move up, I need to keep seven. So if I move up to here, can I see it now? No. So let's move him to here, and then we'll save his points for next turn. Everyone's pretty good on that. Good enough for now, anyways. And kill that guy, and move him this way. She is all about the tactical retreat this turn, but I can't tactical retreat through the clouds, so I'm gonna move up here. And she's moving around behind this person. She's poisoned and wet and about to die, hopefully. Oh, she died from the poison. Well, that worked out really well. That finally worked out decently. So you are in charge of looting. Don't... Why can't you... Mm. You're not in charge of looting anymore. Screw you. You can stay on the ground. There should be like a take 10 or 20 roll like in D&D. &D. If there's no enemies around and you have all the time in the world, you should just be able to take 10, take 20, and walk up on whatever. As long as it's possible for you to roll high enough to do it, you should be allowed to. Alright, there are some orders to read. Gratilda, hereby decree these papers are carried by members of my tribe, or humans who have sworn allegiance to me. You shall let them pass or suffer the full wrath of my ever-sizzling ire. Signed, Gratilda. Praise be Emanhor. Guard those orders? Being the least likely to disappoint me, your contingency has earned a crucial mission. Retrieve the bloodstones of Luke Sula Forest. Rumors suggest you focus your search on the hidden cave of a fool named Meridino before laying waste to the village of heathen goblins to the north. Destroy their idol and seize the bloodstone within. When you finish with these, turn your attention to Silver Glen. Spare not a single filthy weakling in your search. Loic, the abbot of the Immaculate Chapel, would surely rather part with his bloodstone than his head. Relieve him of both. Remember, I prefer bloody stumps to empty hands. Gratilda, the avatar of the All-Mother. Fancy. What do these... Upward marks mean? Does that mean I have skill? No, I can't be what it means. I don't know. It's something. Maybe it means they're in the presence of a leader? Yeah, it looks like that's what it is. Everybody come here. Then that doesn't make sense because Jehan's not part of that. Maybe it means people want to talk. No, I just our main characters want to talk. Just a heads up, but I found myself on the receiving side of a spot of friendly fire during the last encounter. By the gods, I'm ever so sorry. It won't happen again. Cross my heart and hope to die. Don't worry about it. it. Happens to the best of us. Once you find an inn, you're buying, buddy. Look at that. They're all buddy buddy. No big deal. Friendly fire happens. And it happened because I smacked her in the back with my spear. And she deserved it because she was a traitor. And traitors deserved it. What's an augmentator? Augmentator. Well, let's not run into the steam. Let's grab the parchment. We'll lob a barrel into the steam. There's also a landmine there. New plan, you're going alone. As you can see traps. And there's clearly one right there. But unless we grab the augmentator. I don't know what that does, but it sounds pretty cool. And I hit click. Okay, that's not so bad. There are worse clicks. Oh damn you. I should have known. Trixie. Okay, can you sneak around? Good. Yes, I do see that trap. Alright, well, let's just very carefully. Can I move this box? <laughs> I totally can. Oh, that's funny. Alright, everybody get out of the fire. Let's not stand around and watch our man burn to death. That's a good survival. 
any of you guys watch Code Monkeys, that was an amazing show back in the day. And I highly recommend that you watch it even now. It kind of it ages fairly well. It's an 8-bit show about a programmer named Jerry and some crazy shenanigans at a company called Gamervision. It has a lot of uh, inside jokes into the gaming world. It's Highly recommended Code Monkeys. It's old now. It used to be on G4 TV way back in the day. Quick save. That usually means there's a fight. I just got done with the fight. Someone seems to be enjoying the afternoon sun. I'll bet we can slip by while his back is turned. Better to avoid a conflict now than have to face every goblin from here to the mine. Well, it's too late now. He saw us. And he's got a lot of life. No. At least we're not low on life, I guess. He didn't call for friends or backup or anything. I'm a little bit baffled by his strategy, but I'm not going to complain. I'd rather not have another fight against a thousand dudes. Even a thousand goblins. Goblins are pretty tough, actually. Just have a weird one Oh, you are super far out of combat. You might as well spend all of your action points running in. And, and that's the only thing you can do. So, you take a step back now. So let's just leave it. Miss? Pops a potion invisible. That's just not cool. I have no idea where he is. Well, I have some idea where he is. There he is. Trying to trick me, are you? Fool me once. Shame on me. Fool me twice. Shame on me again. Because you shouldn't fool me twice. Why are you not dead? What are you, the invincible goblin? Anything weird happens, and more goblins come, and we end up in a monstrous fight involving like a legion of goblins. That's not what we want. We want a nice, peaceful jaunt towards the mine. Oh, good. A new discovery place. So there's a cave here, and what appears to be a path over there. Which way should we go? Probably the cave. This looks like the mine. Mostly because of the tracks. If I had to, oh, there's goblins. If I had to hazard a guess, I think that would be the. What's the waypoint say? Where the Troll King Cave. It's definitely not Goblin Cave. And it's definitely not the mines either. Oh, our swords are breaking again. Let's quickly uh, wreck this up. Also, get the hell over here. I'm not sure why he's not part Oh, right, because he was getting treasure. I remember now. He went to go get us some awesome treasure. And, oh, I get that treasure person. Ooh, that was it. Switch positions. There you go. And we got a new amulet. So, let's put it. That's not the right amulet. There it is. Alright. Intelligence plus one poisoners and hearing to so hear further. And some sort of antique plate. Which is bodybuilding movement and some resistances, but it's not as good as our other one. So we're gonna leave it the way it is for now. That? It's a pretty decent spear. Is that better than mine? Speed two handed willpower. Versus. More damage. More speed, more hit points, more crit, but I lose a two-headed, and I lose a willpower, which is worthless. So I think I'm going to take it, actually. I'm pretty sure that's better than the one I was using. The Hurtful Sharp Spear of the Demon. That sounds pretty grim. 
fight this goblin. I think after this goblin, we might call it a video. We'll see. I see something. Some pink seeds here to challenge us. Challenge us? There's only one of you. Is there more of you around that I should know about? Because that would not be neat. Oh, you missed. Huh, what a scrub. Shouldn't miss your attacks. Dagger dance. Dagger draw. Okay. That's so much damage. That's really good. Let's keep this guy up. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Okay. I can deal with that. What does this do? That was pretty cool, it just wasn't all that powerful. That was though. That was a crossbow bolt straight to the face. Usually works. Like most of the time, a crossbow bolt to the face will end the fight pretty fast. Let's go into the cave. Let's go see this King Troll cave. I'll heal some other people. She's a little bit hurt. Oh, whoops. That was the wrong spell. You're on the wrong thing. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad. That's better. My apologies, Baird Luther. Totally shot you with a nice blast. Totally meant to heal you. Completely my fault. Take the full blame for that one. Did not mean to shoot you with a nice shard. A dead end. A troll statue. Grey gold. Yes, but I think there's more to it than meets the eye. What is it? Well, let's see. There's more to it than meets the eye. So how do I... Is there like a button? There's a bunch of skulls. Which might have something to do with it, but I can't turn my camera beyond it. Uh, you. You have the perception. Well, if there's more to meet than meets the eye, then I don't know what it is. Doesn't react to fireballs. How about stones? What did that hit? Did that hit the roof? I don't think it was supposed to hit the roof. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else we can do to this thing. So there's something about this place. Let's move some things. Let's take the skulls. I don't know what the skulls mean. Or if they're literally just skulls. They could just be skulls. Does that basket have honeycomb inside of it? Because it sure looks like it does. Which means it's either a delicious basket or filled with bees. Thousands of bees. Well, I don't see anything around that I can interact with at all. Other than the exit. So, it said there was more to it than meets the eye, but... And there probably is, I just don't know what it is at the moment. So I'm gonna figure that out later. We're gonna continue on our way for now. We'll come back when we need to. This looks like it might be a fight. And if it is, we might just end the video here because I think that's gonna take more than five minutes to do this thing. Do you? Who's there? I'm here. Rat belly. No, oh, there's two. Well, that one might not join in. I guess we'll find out. Wow, that was actually pretty good. I'm a little bit impressed, honestly. Wait, there we go. My screen decided to move on its own, as you know, it's tradition. She's not looking good on life. 
get out of the fire to start with. I know she's burning, but at least we can get out of the fire. Just poke him. And again. She's dead to fight. A bottle of beer, 300 bucks. Damn, that was a loaded goblin. There's no goblins carried around such a large currency. No, shit, 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 don't, 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 don't. Oh, God, why? I gotta stop leaving it on that bar. I'm so used to just hitting two and then clicking on a character to heal them. Just give her the big heal, actually. Number five. The five healer. That's all the girls want. Solid five. Alright, so there is one more goblin we can see at the ranger there, at least. There could be a few more. Because we're going towards these mines. I think these are the mines we need to get to. Slowly but surely. Also, these goblins are our level, so that is a good thing. At least we know you we're not. Stop! Okay. Wait, why did you get to go first? Oh shit, there's two of them. There's at least one more. Where's the mystic? Oh crap, there's four of them. Uh, oh, that sucks. That's fine. I don't kill this one before the shaman comes up. Or the armored sentinels that are. What is that thing? What are you? Are you a big daddy raising another big daddy in space? I don't know what it looks like. Kind of weird. Kind of weird. We are officially outnumbered by the goblins. Dagger storm thing, but backstab with the best of them. Now we have a choice. We can either slam this thing really hard until it dies, and then deal with the three other ones that come. That's why. The other alternative is to do a really wind attack. I don't think we're gonna do that just yet. I need to heal. He has First of all, right at the end. Important. Very important. Fireball? That thing? I'm not quite manned up enough for that. I can hit those, but no. If I walk forward a step out of the poison, which I probably should do in the first place, then I can't do anything because I'm all out of mana. Or all out of mana points. Oh no, not that. That is quite bad, actually. Knockdown failed, that's a good thing. Oh, please don't go down. Crippled is bad, though. Oh, they have four swords? That's a lot of swords. That's too many swords. Just four maneuver points. She's just gonna attack. Get a nice elemental. That'll help. You with the playing field a little bit. Now, are you low or anything? You're healing, which is kind of annoying. But I can't do anything about that at the moment. I can try and. Oh, there's no point in slow correcting something, is there? 
Oh, you're almost dead. Kill yourself. That's good. Alright, so... Let's move in a little. There was no freezing, but at least you can absorb some of the damage from those two for a minute. And apparently make them run away, which is also nice. Another really good hit. At least you only get two. Oh, there you go. What the hell are you? Where did you come from? Oh, that's the invisible dude. He showed up in the fight. I forgot all about him, actually. That didn't do a whole lot of damage. I think we don't see much. There's a lot of goblins. Please go somewhere else. Please go over there. If they have time to deal with you at the moment, you go over there. Uh, I want you to punch him. Always oh, a where he does half damage or whatever. This ranger needs to die so badly, but I still haven't been able to take him down. How much life does this thing have? Each of them have like 800 hit points. That's okay, you can hit him and do that. So lots of life left. Okay, you can stop now though. Oh, okay. He felt we caught a slight break. Alright, I need to uh I need to kill that guy actually. Let's charge through it. Good we knocked the guy down. But still didn't kill this guy. Jesus. He will never die. Eight action points is too many action points. Six is more reasonable, but I'll probably end up hitting my own guy. I have no way of doing just a small amount of damage to that ranger, and if I don't. If I didn't kill him in that time... Is that thing dead too? No. Why can't I shoot him? Is my bow broken or something? Oh, I see. Okay. Hit the button by accident. So I can shoot him twice. That's totally worthwhile. Golem did die, which is unfortunate, but at least most of the guys are like on the ground right now. We can coup de gras some of them. That's, that's nice, a backstab critical, that was worthwhile. 40 damage, we might be able to, nope, or slow or something. Okay, this is for sure healing. Uh, that's all you can do really. So it's their shaman's turn. Oh, the chair unfroze that's important. Goodbye. Alright, so now we only have three guys to go. This is a rough fight. Why are you on the ground? Oh, you got hammer time. Oh, that ice is actually helping us so much right now. Except that that knockdown failed. No. Oh, you miss. Miss again. You did not miss that time. How many action points do you have? Holy shit. How many action points does that thing have? Oh, that. That's such bullshit. I can get another error. Oh, this is elemental. We'll res her in a second here. Oh. 
kind of freezing, but I can punch it the least. I think it's a lot of movement. We can barrage. Uh, we can't res, can we? How many do we need for a res? Ten? Ten action points. So if I shoot and then save... Maybe do I gain a turn? Should I just wait and res? Probably. Oh crap. He's gonna die too. Nope. Alright, we got a big heal for him coming over right up. Because he is about to die. Oh, that's pretty good. Please freeze. Oh, excellent. That helps us out quite a lot. Now we can just punch him. And barrage him. Oh, we were supposed to res. Shit. I should have saved some action points. I got too excited. I got too excited and I screwed it up. Alright. What can we do? Let's try to knock them down. Knock them down, did not poison them either. Go punch the mystic. That's fine. Oh, you got poisoned. Good. He blew up his own guy, kind of. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, yeah. Okay, that was good. Oh, Jayha, no, I forgot that you're almost dead. Okay, how's my turn order going? So, Bear Dota can res, but then he gets another turn. Okay, it's not worth it. She'll gain that experience back another time. Poor thing lit on fire a little bit. That's okay. Why did it go that way? I don't understand. Regardless, we can now resurrect. So let's do that. Somewhere out of danger. Where did she go? I said over there. How is that even remotely similar? Move forward a bit. Um, you're gonna drink a potion. Do you have any potions? No. Why would you? That would be silly. What's this do? I can't hide in the shadows. Just run back. So oh, she's bugged out. She's doing her weird thing again. Uh, you need some healing, but otherwise you're okay. But if you step on that, you're gonna fall. So I'm gonna put you right here. And you're gonna wait your turn. I'm gonna heal you. And I'm gonna teleport that thing. Nope, it's not that thing. Not that thing either. Alright. I'm not gonna teleport anything. I'm gonna put that ability to withstand things on you. Fortified. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. Try a ricochet. The mystic has taken a bit of damage, but it's not even close to being dead yet. What potion are you popping? Popping potions is unacceptable. Unless you're me. Where are you going? Not that I'm complaining that you're wandering off, but I thought we were having a fight here. That person's being crucified for some reason. Need to line up some attacks, I guess. Uh, don't. No, I screwed up my attack. 
Yelp. Where are you going now? Stop moving. No, don't heal that thing. It's already annoying enough. Can I shoot you from here? Kinda. Not really. Let's move up a bit. So let's move up to... So, I shot the wall, didn't I? Yep, there's a very narrow opening there. Maybe a little more like that. No, maybe more up like this. That's better, okay. Next turn that she can shoot, that's where she'll be shooting from. You stay back. What do you mean it's blocked? It's a straight path. Why go to there? You know what you shouldn't do when you charge an enemy line? Miss your attacks. That's probably good advice. Fall on the ice. No, stop running. No, there we go. Okay, that's good. Now you can keep running, I guess. Can't shoot him. Can I tactical retreat over the wall? Can here. Can't shoot him this turn though. But now the uh, armored sentinel is coming back. Apparently our character's tripping, and not in the good way. You are still out of combat because you probably need to heal really badly, and no one's around to heal you at the moment. You're in the walls. How is your life going? That hurt. jayhan has got lots of life though, so that's good. Alright, let's barrage that thing. I definitely want that mystic to die. And I can't move out of melee, so we'll do what we can. Weakened my character. That's just. That's just a jerk thing to do. Stay back. Um, just hit him. I know this video is a lot longer than normal, but that's okay. We're gonna finish this fight in like a couple seconds here. Oh, now I can't do that thing that I wanted to do. Can I do that? Nope. All right, I'll summon a nice elemental then, I guess. Those are pretty good too. They're good for soaking up hits and stuff. Oh, I killed him. That's rare. And... Stop hitting my character. Oh, you cursed him. Oh no, here's the Never mind. Uh, whoa, 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 wrong spell. Let's heal our character. Let's not shoot ice shards at him, because that would be really bad to screw up this fight at the end. After we painfully made our way through it all. Whew. Tough fight. Goblins are actually quite powerful, all things considered. So uh, that's going to be the end of our video. I know it took a lot longer than we anticipated. Like always, if you guys have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. We're going to continue on our way towards the mine, and hopefully, we'll get some answers onto why we have to fight our way through 100,000 million goblins. So I will see you guys next time.